Today we're going to learn how to use the step effector to uh, affect the time offset of animated clones. First let's create a cube, make it smaller in the z direction and uh, animate it on the RB rotation. So we'll add a keyframe here, go to frame 20, uh, rotate it, add another keyframe and go to the dope sheet at the cube here so it appears in the dope sheet select the rotation keyframes and change the after uh, looping to oscillate so the cube will if you go back to the beginning of the animation will oscillate back and forth this is the animation of the cube now if you create a clone or put the cube as a child of the cloner, select the cloner, go to object, and zero out the Y. And add some Z values so the clones are further spread in the Z direction. Then increase the number of clones. Now if you play the animation, nothing happens because uh, reset coordinates is selected, unselected, and then... Uh, chain, uh, play the animation, you'll see ev all the clones are um, animating at the same time. We don't want that. We want each clone to animate uh, with an offset following the first clone. So we'll add a step effector. Go to effectors, select the step effector, go to parameter, uncheck scale because we don't want the, select, the step effector to scale the clones we just want to use the uh, uh, the offset that uh, we would just want to uh, offset the animation so for that we have to go to time offset which is at the bottom and increase this value so now if we play the animation this will this is what we will get